Hello there, YouTuberinos and YouTuberettes <laughs> and all the ships at sea. <laughs> you ask your grandparents what that means. Um, as you can see, we moved. I'm in my new office slash bedroom suite sort of setup here. That thing over my head is not the Tin Man's hat. That's, that's the uh, light uh, fixture. But as you can see, I am in my new space. I don't know if this is where I'm going to be filming from. I really don't know. But I want it. But it was important today for me to get um, something up. Because, well, just because, for one thing, I hadn't put anything up in a while. I'll tell you what been going on but um yeah I don't know if this is where I'm going to be filming from I'm actually in front that's a, a closet there storage that closet there and you can see I got a little teeny window and then you remember that um wall of deco decor and like I said that thing <laughs> but um yeah I don't know I don't know we'll see we'll see but today actually what I really actually wanted to do was just kind of get on here and because I've I noticed I have two real some more two real subscribers it's not that spam stuff I actually got some comments and real comments and I wanted to thank you guys because um you know when you first start out you don't have any views you know you got you get 10 15 views four or five views you know you get that spam stuff and it's just them wanting you to buy views or uh wanting you to you know buy something or something like that it's never any real people that i actually got real people and i'm you know i'm all i'm as excited as i can be i'm really happy oh uh, let's see so, what I thought I'd do was, you know, talk about what the devil's been going on and where the boop I've been. So, actually, we did end up moving on the 27th, which was Monday, I think. Don't you know me and my dates? You know, I was a whole week off on Father's Day, so <laughs> don't pay attention to me. But, um... Yeah, which was a Monday, and then my son and daughter-in-law actually left for Spain the next night, the next evening. I mean, we actually, we moved on Monday and Tuesday night, they took a flight out. So, needless to say, I didn't get a chance to do anything, nothing. We, we weren't even settled, nothing was unpacked, nothing. They basically, well... And, but it really, you know, the thing of it was, was that we were supposed to move on such a date, supposed to move on such a date, never did move. And what ended up happening, because it was stuff they wanted to do, they needed to do to the house, blah, 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 whatever. So, I mean, you know, he signed a contract a long time ago. They knew he would be moving. So, but, you know, sometimes things can't, you can't. You know, it's nothing you can do about things. It's not his fault. It's just stuff you, you know, just stuff like that that happens. So we basically moved in. Nothing, the new furniture we had bought at Ikea and everything hadn't been put together. I mean, just, just nothing. Nothing was basically done. So they basically dumped me and the kids. But we had come down earlier because I think I vlogged about that. And, you know, kind of looked around. So at least I knew where the store was. I knew where... You know, and don't look at these nails because they, every one of them broke on the move. But, you know, I'm working on them. And, um, they'll go back. And, you know, so I, I, I knew at least where the store was. I knew how to, you know, get us some groceries. I knew how to do that kind of stuff, you know. Plus, my son had left me the numbers for a couple of people that he, um, a uh, guy that worked for him a while back and um, his agent was nearby. So, you know, it wasn't really that bad. It was just I couldn't do anything. You know, I couldn't vlog. I couldn't go to the only store I went to was to get, you know, to pick up things, pick up groceries and stuff. So I, um, so I didn't get a chance to do anything. You know, I didn't do any shopping or anything. But I did find out one thing. I was looking up dollar stores. And I found out that there's a five-story dollar store somewhere in this borough, <laughs> you call it. I can't remember. 
what the name of this joint is. I'll find out. But anyway, so needless to say, let's see, where's the, the jump? Um, no, that's the sub, sub your subway. Uh, gosh, wait a minute, wait a minute. My Instagram will tell me. Okay, somebody liking, 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 liking. Okay, let me see. Come on. I know how to find out. Um, air location. Funabashi. And I know I messed that up because I, I do the vowels every single time. For some reason, I want to make, if it's a long vowel, I want to make it short. If it's a short vowel, I want to make it long but it's f-u-n-a-b-a-s-h-i chiba and like i said before tokyo is like new york it has boroughs so that's where we are now so i put that in the google map and i put um uh the dollar store you know daiso store and um it said there was a five story one i'm going there and lose my mind but I didn't didn't do that today. So what I just did, I just picked up a couple of things today and then stopped by the grocery store for a couple of things today. So I just wanted to get on here really quick and let you guys know that I have moved. We've moved. And that um, I am sitting, I have a huge bay window like right behind me and I'm actually sitting in natural light. So, I mean, it's cloudy outside, but... For 61, <laughs> I don't know too many women that could sit in uh, natural light like that, but it's about, um, it's in the evening, it's uh, quarter after four, and it's cloudy, but still, you know, so if you guys want to know about my skin care, that kind of thing, but like I said, you, nothing you put on your face gives you skin like this at 61. It's, it's a it's a whole regime that you follow. I have been stretching. Oh, and I know also too, my, uh, of all the time, okay, my we move on Monday, they leave Sunday night for 10 days. I mean, uh, Tuesday night for 10 days. And then I have a really bad bout of um, chronic fatigue. I had it in the 80s when they were calling it yuppie flu. And the only thing that you either were, it was either in your head or you were, uh, or they were calling it yuppie flu and, you know, and nobody believed it was real. And then I, but I knew something was wrong with my body. I had gotten the flu. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go into it real a lot because I don't want to, um, take, I don't want this to be really long because I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. <laughs> It's hungry. Well, because I, I come back from the store and then I want to vlog before I take my makeup and stuff off and then I'm hungry and then, you know, so anyway. So, uh, let's see. So, yeah, I they left. And the lady from the homeowners association came, of course. I don't speak Japanese. She don't speak English. I don't know what she was talking about. And then a bunch of vendors come because here when you move, you have to kind of register and tell them where you're moving especially for the child welfare people so that they they actually come to your house and check on children here nothing has to be wrong they, they just it's just part of what the Japanese government does they come and check on children periodically so if you move and you have kids and you know you you're moving with kids I mean and they want to see them you know you just don't say oh they taking a nap no 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 you are welcome but they want to put their eyes on children they really protect children here so um you know so when you register and do all this um that's when all the merchants and the vendors and everything find out that it's somebody in you know in a new home and this is a residential area it's a, actually a house and the vendors are coming in and driving me crazy and i don't know what they talking about and i'm like look y'all got <laughs> y'all gotta come back when either my son or my daughter-in-law is here because I don't know what y'all are dealing with. But, you know, we, you know, you, you know, most, um, you hear the train? Most 
communication is nonverbal anyway, and you can people kind of know they understood. I, I took my I took, told the guy I took my phone and I showed him the calendar on the phone and said, "Well, you got to come back this day because I don't know what you're talking about." So, uh, but it looked like some kind of delivery service or something. Like you know how you have your groceries and stuff like that delivered, which I never did. No, I did it once. I did it once, and that's when um, this was uh, three or four years ago. The first uh, summer that my son and his whole family spent the summer uh, in uh, Tacoma, they had gone to Barbados and taken my grandson. I had to babysit my granddaughter and couldn't leave, couldn't leave the um, couldn't leave the apartment because the they had the other part to her car seat in the car that was sitting at the airport and. Uh, I had the car, actual car seat, but I didn't have the part that you lock her down in. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. So anyway, um, I ended up having to order groceries because I couldn't leave my, you know, granddaughter. She was 10, 11 days old, something like that. And I couldn't get anyone to take me shopping because I had didn't have any way to take her um, car seat. So anyway, all that aside, let me see the vendors. Yeah, and the chronic fatigue, it just hit me all of a sudden. Yeah, and I had it in the um, late 80s. I had another bout of it in like the 2000s, like 2001, 2002, when I had just gone back to college. And then soon as my son and my daughter and left, law left, I mean, I woke up that next morning, not the next morning morning not the Tuesday morning but that Wednesday morning and almost couldn't get out of the bed I felt like lead weights were tied to every limb of my body and I was like oh my gosh what in heaven's name am I going to do what am I gonna do so I the only thing I could do I just got online and it's nothing you can do I mean it's it's it's, it's they can't It's nothing that can be done, basically. So what I did was I um, upped my iron and I couldn't work out. So what I did was um, my, um, my, my dose of iron, I upped that a little bit. I upped my vitamin D, which is why I meant to get some more today, but I forgot. And, um, well, I actually got lost. Well, I'll tell you about that. And, um just stretched that's all i could do and just and just stretch that's that's all i i could do you know because i had two toddlers to take care of it i you know one like i could lay in the bed and i was just so exhausted so anyway what i ended up doing was just muddling just make it muddling through i took actually took my notebook and wrote was one of the suggestions i had gotten off of youtube and just literally wrote down everything i had to do you brush your teeth, you know, how to clean, you know, what, you know, all the stuff I had to actually do, you know, throughout the day and take care of the kids. And so they kind of got kind of bored because like I said, it's two floors and there the nursery is on the top floor with my office and my bedroom and the master bedroom and a bathroom and a storage area. And then the first floor is of course the living room, the other bathroom, the wash room, the shower room, the um, you know the big living space, and of course the kitchen and the mud room and all that stuff is on the first floor. So we basically had to stay down there because I couldn't I couldn't take up and down those stairs, and they couldn't be up on the second floor with me downstairs, and vice versa. So poor little thing they were kind of bored but we did get out every day we went out every single day I made sure I took them out for a nice walk you know just a little up to the convenience store or something or just you know around just so they could you know get some fresh air so what I'm gonna do is like I said I'm, I'm still kind of tired I couldn't figure out why I'm so tired but now now I realize it was that chronic fatigue coming back down on me and anybody who's ever had it the only thing I can, I can, you know, I'm no doctor or nothing. The only thing I can um, suggest is just what I did. Just write down every single thing you have to do during the day and stick to that list and get as much. It, when I had it the first time, I literally had to sit down and cook. 
I, I couldn't stand up and cook. And I was, the first time I had it, I was working graveyard because I was working at, out at the Pentagon and I was working out at the Naval Annex. And I was working graveyard and I think that's how I got it. I remember getting the flu and I just could not kick this flu. And I mean, it took me forever to get over it. And then in um, 2000, 2001, 2002, when I got it, it was a very stressful time. I had just gone back to college. I, it's just, it was, it was really bad. And this time, this time was the worst. I almost called my son and said, you have to send my daughter-in-law back here because I almost couldn't do it. I almost could, couldn't, couldn't do it. So I wanted to talk about that, that that's what had happened to me. Oh, and stretch, stretch, don't hurt yourself, but you have to stretch because you, anybody that's ever had it knows that your muscles hurt, especially your neck muscle and your legs. I mean, it just feels like you're going just, like I said, like lead weights are, are taped to your body and you just can't move. And I had two toddlers to take care of in a brand new house that was a mess. I mean, we, their, the um, kids' bedroom was done. I had no dresser. The dresser, we had bought the dresser at Ikea. I had to put it together. So when they went to bed, that's when I tried to put the dresser together, unpack my things, try to make some, you know, order. Cause you know, the OCD was out of control, you know, by this time. And I just, you know, just, it was just really bad. Which is it's really, really bad. But I felt better today. I decided I am getting out of this house. My son went to get some um, curtains, some draperies. He found a, a rug. I'm going to do a walkthrough or either a photo flash or whatever of the new house. I just haven't, you know, like I said, basically they dumped us and left. You know, basically, pretty much. Um, with just like our beds and my office was kind of fixed and then the their you know just boxes and it just was a mess and you know that drove me crazy so i wanted that i wanted to talk about why i hadn't been on i wanted to talk to my um to thank my subscribers and thank them for their kind comments their words thank you so much you know, like I said, if you want to really see what's going on with me, go and look at my other um, vlogs from, a, you know, videos from a long time ago. I think I've been doing this about a year and I'm a writer and I wrote a book and I always said that after I wrote my book, I was going to um, get on YouTube and talk about it. So that's what my uh, first video is about. It's some hauls in there. It's some kind of funny stuff in there, but... You know, I'm going to, um, um, you can go back and look at those, but you know, what I really need to do is I need to go back. Oh, it's raining again. I need to go back. It's raining all day. I need to, and I got lost. I need to go back to, um, and look at those videos and actually tag them a little better so people can kind of see, you know, what, um, what they're really about, you know, because I've, I'm, I, you know, I'm just learning that if you put something really interesting, you know, in the in the in the title, that's what people are gonna, you know, click on. That's what people are gonna look at. It. So today, I decided I actually stayed in the bed. I woke up. The kids were up really early. My grandkids were up really early, and of course, my son, and, my son, and my daughter-in-law had jet lag, so they were up <laughs> really early. And I heard them, but I lay. I stayed in the bed. I mean, I just made myself lay there, you know. So. I want to thank my subscribers. Thank them for the, thank you guys for your kind words. Thank you for your views. And I have a teeny tiny little haul. What ended up happening was I wanted to go to the mall and pick up a couple things, but I ended up getting lost some kind of way. So there's a store here called Parco, P A R C O, and it's a big department store. There's a grocery store underneath it. It's a big um, department store and it has, it calls itself a bazaar or something, I don't know. But it's a big uh, uh, kind of fun place to shop. So I ended up finding that. I couldn't find the mall, so I found that. And um, 
like I said, my son had gone out and gotten uh, like a floor sweeper and a kettle and, you know, things that, you know, you need when you first move. And then he got the dra draperies and, and he put those up and he put the dining room table up. So I'm going to definitely do a walk through, you know, the new house kind of thing. But I don't know when. But for now, so anyway, so I got up. My daughter-in-law said, you going out there in that rain? I said, you darn right. I'm getting out of this house. I don't know how to act, you know, to get out of the house without those kids with me. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, I went to Parco. I went to, they had a, they have a, um, a Rosemary's. I don't know what that's the equivalent of in America. I don't know, but it probably is something. But anyway, so I got a couple things to show you guys that, and I'm going to go eat. I stopped at the grocery store. You don't need to tell you about that. But um, I went to this one place, it's called um, Blue Bluet, I guess, Blue Bluet, Bleu, Bluet, maybe, in French, maybe my girl Darlene, or, or um, I see that, and it's a little, like a little boutique kind of. Fancy, smancy, expensive little boutique, and I had to get it because I had to get an eyeglass case, and it was a taupe one, and it was this pink one, and I stood there and I stood there and I couldn't figure out which, which, which one I wanted, but I ended up getting the pink one because I thought I might regret it. it. The taupe one, the kitty cat on the taupe one looked just like a kitty cat I used to have, but um, yeah, and there's kitty cats outside, and, and next door the lady has a bird. Um, feeder and the birds fly back and forth and my grandkids love just sitting there you know like I said I know they were bored out of school but you know so my glasses fit exactly well my granddaughter got my other pair got my other uh, eyeglass case got a hold of it but um it was just a little dollar store thing and like I said I promise you guys I'm gonna find that five story dollar store and it's gonna be on <laughs> it's gonna be a mega on trust me so that I got the eyeglass case. I got then I went to Rosemary, whatever that is. Well, it, it's kind of like a cosmetic. Oh no, I went to one of those little jewelry stores. Where's that teeny tiny little bag? Well, okay, I'll show you Rosemary's first. Rosemary's. I got this stuff. Um. This lighting is weird. It's, um, oh, and the case was $20,000. No, no, no. It was 19 something. So about 20 bucks. About 20 bucks. This was about 12 bucks. It's, it's that soap, um, pure Castile soap. And I think I probably can use that on my grandkids, too, because they have really sensitive skin. I wonder where they get that from. And then a little washcloth came with it. Magic cloth, they call it. And I was my son can use this. He has sensitive skin, too. So I was telling him he probably could use that, too. And um, I've got a couple other things, too. And that's what the... Let's see. I can't see it. That's what the receipt looks like. The receipt look like um something else too oh i got this at rosemary's too what i wanted was this is a liquid eyeliner well actually it's a liquid You know, and I couldn't figure out why I was having so much confusion and, and calling colors, different colors. Now, that's orange. But for some reason, I was calling yellow orange. And then I realized it was the um, uh, chronic fatigue coming back. It's a liquid eyeliner. And then there's uh, a powder in it. And then there's uh, the smudger thing. Yeah, so that's what it... That's what it looks like. So the liquid is, is part is there. And then the, um, don't, do not look at these terrible nails. And then 
um, yeah, it's the liquid, the powder, and then the smudger. And I've been looking for a liquid because I want to try to do that um, wing, but I you can't do that with just the eyebrow pencil. And then I got, oh, and this was $13, yeah, so about 13, 12, 13 bucks. And then I got a black eyeshadow. I've been dying for black. Well, it's really kind of silvery-ish color, dark black. Great, well, dark and dark and super duper dark gray because I got some black lipstick. I want to do that whole spooky, you know, kind of gothy kind of look. I really like that look. I want to, when I go out, I'm gonna, I want to go out because there's a lot of restaurants and stuff around here, so I'm sure my son's gonna take me out. And I bought something else, and I can, ah, here we go. And then at the little pride, they call it. Yeah, that was the receipt from the from the pride that I showed you before. I just got some earrings. I went to get dressed today, and I didn't have any gold, little goldy earrings for the little teeny hole in the back that I was satisfied with. So I ended up going, you know, I can't pass one of those um little jewelry store, little hood jewelry things, like stores, I call them. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but one of, them, one of them's a little purse. Those, these are going to be for the holes back there. One of them's a little teeny purse. One of them's just a little uh, flower, little stud. And one of them's a shoe. Let me see. Let me get the, get the, get it up there so you can kind of see. And one of them's a shoe. So you know I'm a rock that. One of them's a shoe, one of them's a purse, and two just little dots. You know that's on. You know that's on. What else? Okay, I showed you the eyeshadow. I showed you the eyeliner. I showed you the um, eyeglass case. And then when I went to the store, and this is the now it and and the Parkos has a um, grocery store. So I'm, I'm in the store and, and I have got to do something about my hearing. I have to have my hearing checked. I have actually a siren for a tele, for a ringer on my telephone and I still don't hear it. And I happen to check it so I know periodically to check it. And I checked it and my son wanted me to get him some peanut butter and some bread and some stuff. So I'm like, well, you know, I'm not at the mall. I don't know if they have a supermarket. Do they have this stuff at 7-Eleven? He's like, no, but remember, Parco has a, a store. So I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So grocery store at the bottom. So I spent about 31, about 30, altogether 30, 31 bucks. Um, I got some crackers you know for the kids the um some yogurt for the kids i got on uh, my daughter-in-law bottle of wine because she i was in the line well i had i had texted her and asked her did she need anything from the store and she said um i didn't hear anything back so i'm in the line of course when i get the text that she wants me to bring her a bottle of wine so i bought her a bottle of wine uh, what else did I get? I just got some crackers. Oh, and I got some eggplant. I got me some chips. You know, I got to have my chips at night. Um, I got some eggplant because I, I have a marinade for some eggplant. So I wanted to eat that. Of course, I got me a bento. I'm not showing all that stuff. It's it's down in the kitchen. I'm not going back down there. Oh, uh, what else did I get? I got some. Yeah, I got chips. I got the kids some snacks. I got them some yogurt. I got them some, this little candy, little eggs that they like. And just, you know, some odds and ends. Odds and ends. The I think the most, export, the most um, expensive thing was the um, peanut butter. Anything American like that is real expensive. 
and uh, that pretty much was it. But I did say one thing because this is my this is this goes in my drawer. This is for late night. I'm not really sweet, um, but I like these. They've got um, it's peanuts and chocolate, and then coming back, and it would be rain. Of course, it's raining. So coming back, I was um, soaking. I had the shopping bag, the bag from uh, Rosemary and my purse and I'm a schlepping along and I went, went, made a wrong turn, crossed the railroad track and made a wrong turn and I'm lost. So I called my son and he said, well, you know, do use the Google map thing, but it kept saying that I needed to be online to use it. And that was kind of weird because I remember when, because my son and brought the kids with him on the day we actually moved. Me and my daughter-in-law stayed behind to clean the apartment after, you know, everything was, was empty out of it. And we, hers was working because it was telling us which way to turn and everything. But when I tried to use mine, and my son had put the, um, had messaged me the address in Japanese and in English in case I ever got, you know, somewhere got lost and took a taxi home. And um, it kept saying it couldn't help me because it wasn't online or something. I don't know. But I just kept walking because I knew I was close. I knew I was close because we can hear the, you know, that speed, that bullet train thing is like right behind us. So when I cross the railroad track, I'm like, okay, I'm close. I'm close. And um, I ended up on the other side of the driving school. So driving school, like right up the street, and I was on the other side of it. And when I got to that, I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm good now because I know what I've got to do is find my way around the driving school, and I know my way from there. So that's what's been going on. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go. I'm going to, while this is uploading, I'm going to go get me something to eat. And then I'm going to, my grandkids took a nap, and it was so funny when I came, when I left, they were, they had just falling asleep. My daughter-in-law said they had just fallen asleep. And um, I came back. They were asleep. And I was like, oh my gosh, how long have they been sleeping? And I thought about it. I was like, well, I don't have to worry about it. This is more adults in the house tonight. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to go. I'm going to upload this. I just wanted to um, touch bases and let you guys know what's going on. As soon as I find that dollar store, you best believe I will be there and I will haul it. And like I said before, thanks a lot for um, you guys for watching and thank you for your kind, you know, comments and stuff. And it's just been, it's, you know, it's really, you know, it's, it's really a lot of fun and it's really satisfying to know, I mean, that. 30 people are watching you, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's, a, um, um, it's, it's a thrill for me. Oh, and we're going, um, Tuesday to Guam for family vacation. So <laughs> I will maybe I'll vlog from, um, Guam. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just take some stills and put some, or take a quick little, you know, but I'm going to do a house, quick little house thing. I don't want to show, well, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll do the downstairs, if nothing else. I'm funny about the kids' room. You don't, nobody can get up there and get them. Uh, the kids' uh, room, and uh, I'm not going to do the master bedroom because it's still a mess. <laughs> My poor daughter-in-law. But uh, she was trying last night to at least get some boxes out the way so I could get in and sleep. But I will do a um, little bit of a, maybe I'll just come through the front door and, you know, show the mud room and, you know, that kind of thing. And then go, you know, into the, just into the living room and the, and the dining area, maybe into the kitchen too. So you guys can see that. Um, and other than that, um, we're going to Guam on Tuesday. And that's it. So I will um, get this up and talk to you guys later.